Hello fellow humans, welcome back to Art Notes. I'm just gonna stop the video for a moment. So recently some events happened that uh, came across as really chaotic and really took me down for a while. Some of my videos got uh, all delayed and I, I have so much editing to do. Most of this uh, got delayed because of two things really. The main one was, uh, well, the recent, uh, thing that got everybody, uh, supposedly, I mean, it was too obvious they should have known. The second thing was that, uh, uh, my bike got stolen after buying it in three months or so, so I'm still dealing with that. And, well, yeah, those things together all between having jobs, two job uh, problems, where, well, you know, with the recent things that has happened, well, I cannot sustain a job for so long. So, it's been a little bit delayed everywhere. But, not to worry, I'm here back again to give you my insights to my failures, I guess. <laughs> I had to uh, voice over everything, so there is no actual video itself because everything got damaged because the other things that happened was that uh, my uncle decided to actually repair the house and put everything together in the house since, you know, uh, again, the recent events uh, gave him time for that and, well, now I have multiple background noises. Second, um, between everything that has been happening, um, I had to literally do this at mornings and I had to wake up at 3 a.m. So you imagine how uh, my mind is going everywhere, but it's uh, the sacrifice of doing the right thing for the right content. Now then, let's go back to the video. So most of the what I'm gonna be doing, I finished the uh, sketch areas and I finished the sketch art, everything else, now we are going back to the painting. I did the thumbnail, so now you know where the colors are gonna go. Well, the basic idea where the colors are going, the color palette itself. Uh, this time I did something that I usually don't do where I use the color palette by using a thumbnail. I usually don't do that that much because I pretty much got an idea in my head, but I wanted to try it because it does help a lot. Uh, anybody that has done this before will tell you that it's good to thumbnail everything. And well, yes, it did help a lot and you will see why. Now, next thing that I'm gonna do is the background. I'm gonna keep it as abstract as I can. Uh, I don't want it to be too much. I don't want it to uh, be completely full in details because if not it's gonna distract from the actual focus point that is uh, the character itself Morgan which in this context he's gonna be a little be, be a little bit more detailed than usual being as it is that this character is more of an animated character and well too many details do not work for a character in an animation it, doesn't at all because all of those points of points of interest would have to be moving all the time and would be really frustrating <laughs> now most of these uh, uh, things are gonna be uh, lightning uh, plasma style of like looking background abstract yeah too many things in once but hey if you if you can play around with them and mix them right you can get a, a really well thought out plan and i just want to note that uh, the character that i'm working on morgan he is a character that you might see a little bit aggressive to others not in a bad way now it's mostly he is the character that most of the time will not like let others others uh intention or anything like that bother him or stop him from being what he wants to be 
I created this character with this the thing in mind that he's gonna be in a multiple storyline kind of a thing. And if you don't catch my drift, what I mean is that um, he's gonna be in a multiverse. The, the, his story is gonna be told between other universes and things like that. It, it, it does kind of the uh, works like uh, Rick and Morty. Uh, Doctor Who, even Shishorama for that matter, where the character is just in this state of stasis where he's gonna encounter multiple characters, multiple storylines, multiple plots that are gonna show who he really is. The storyline is gonna work with him in a sense, but at the same time he is gonna work with the storyline itself. It's gonna be an interaction where both of them are gonna be trying to repel each other, kinda. Most of the time you might see him as a negative person, but that's the thing that I wanna um, reflect on him or show to others what I mean. Is that sometimes something like um, some people would say and what I experience a lot of times is that when you're trying to realistically uh, get to a problem or something like that, some people will call you negative. Morgan, I don't want to get too much in detail because I don't want to spoil the fun, man. <laughs> His powers are beyond us. Let's just put it like this, it's a power that it can actually manipulate anything in a sense. It's kind of grounded on science and it has to do with the science fiction kind of a style like um, of like quantum theory and things like that. But there is something beyond it and something that is uh, might be a little bit fantasy in it. And might be because <laughs> hey then again i might be right about this who knows and then they're gonna say that i knew all about this and that i know the future and i come from the future <laughs> yeah it always happens this enables this character to actually be ahead of everything around him and yes uh, he he might use it too much sometimes Actually, he uh, he will accept this. He knows very well that he should not use it so much. That is too is a godlike thing that shouldn't be used as a as a common thing. It should be used for justice or for whatever big reason. But putting that aside, he does enjoy his time in in, in this world. He enjoys uh, everything that is this world. It, it, he enjoys that the, 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 there is such a thing as uh, other universes and he, he discovers himself between all of them. Relationship-wise, he's... Ooh, how can I say this? It's, uh, I don't want to... I don't want to spoil too much, but in m most of the things that he's gonna go through, I, I definitely see it as a funny but fucked up thing. Um, I mean, most of the things that I, I want this character to go through is, uh, is messed up, man, it's messed up, but uh, he has to go through them. For the story to actually make sense, for the, for the, for most of his learning experience if you will is needed which gives him a little bit more time to develop um interactions with people even though he's really bad at them he does actually thrive once he's in that state of like comfortable without somebody once he's comfortable he can actually show who he is there is this character that is going to interact with him most of the time and it's going to be a really explosive relationship. A little bit contradictory to what in the series is going to be um, his lone wolf kind of style of life. But the thing is with this character and, and Morgan is that... Ooh, Nelly. <laughs> there is a lot to unpack with them. Um, 
it's just a, a story that doesn't just stop and hey uh, it's over let's move on <laughs> it's gonna be complicated it's gonna be interesting enough something that i just thought about once i recognized that my character was too free caring or you know just too free uh, that he didn't have any bondages to real life and 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 i i noticed that um that actually made him a little bit uh uninterested uh to uh, uh not relatable or even anything like that so this character came to be not just just as some simple little character this character that he is gonna be around became his beacon if you will it, it showed him who he really is and made him discover himself most like any other relationship in life it just gives you enough information to actually discover yourself even if the relationship doesn't you know blossom to a beautiful relationship it does still give you enough information of yourself more than that actually does of somebody else so that's most of that so in that note i'm just gonna leave it there for the next episode i will work on well most of the right part of the no right no left left part i am bad at directions um so definitely i will come back to this um and come back to the left part of the character morgan thank you for watching and thank you for everything i know that uh, most of you guys that are watching me it's like two or three <laughs> it's uh it's, it's been frustrating have a nice day if you want to help in any way possible there's some links down below and you can comment i'm setting up some discords i am setting up some streamings uh so you can talk in uh, in real time and and those um streamings i don't know if you've been watching them just playing minecraft and you can just talk to me and I just go ahead and just pop in say something and you can go you can even say you suck <laughs> it doesn't matter to me as long as somebody is there to talk to you